Hello everybody, happy holidays. This is Jeffrey Hack Music, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you why you should purchase the Canon T-Sex EOS Rebel for your next holiday gift for someone who might be into photography or videography. Let's get started. All right, so for those that don't know much about cameras or DSLRs, this is definitely a good first camera then for photography and videography. Although you can't use a flip screen feature with this Canon T6 compared to the T6i, you can still look at the LCD screen and see the awesome, amazing picture quality you are getting from this camera. So one of the the really cool things about this camera compared to your smartphone is it records in 18 megapixels, which is the information the sensor takes in when recording your video or capturing your photo. At the moment, I'm recording this video using my Galaxy J7 Android phone, which the megapixels are probably not as much compared to the Canon T6. When recording video with this camera, you also get 1920 by 1080 p which is 1080p full HD, which 1080p is the second best video quality you can find when watching YouTube videos, Netflix, or any videos on Amazon. On Prime. The Canon T6 also comes with an 18 by 55 millimeter interchangeable lens. This lens is also a macro lens, which means it captures amazing image quality within 0.25 millimeters to 0.8 feet away. So if you're planning to take photos or videos of a plant or any small object very close up, this lens can make that subject look really good. This camera also shoots in 24, 25, and 30 frames per second. 24 frames per second is the standard frames per second for motion picture. However, YouTube creators tend to record their videos in 30 frames per second. Another great feature about this camera's lens is it comes with an autofocus and manual focus feature. So with autofocus, if you're trying to focus your subject, you easily just tap this button right here, the shutter button. Don't press it all the way, but you just tap it down and the camera lens automatically adjusts the focus to your desired liking. Now, if you had this camera in manual focus, you would have to manually adjust the camera's focus. Sometimes that could be better though for if you wanna be creative and have your own freedom. But when you're at live events or you're doing photography on the spot, and need to capture those moments immediately, autofocus is usually your best friend when it comes to those kind of situations. The ISO built into this camera, the amount of light the camera takes in, that goes from 100 to 6400 on this camera. 6400 being the most light the camera sensor can take in and 100 being the minimal amount of light the sensor can take in. Normally you'd want to stay away from 6400 because of the noise that can be captured from this camera. And what I mean by noise is those little distorted dots you see on the screen when watching a film sometimes. If the image is too dark and the camera's taking in more light than it should be, then you're gonna get some noise in the picture quality, which is why you should also invest into film lights like I'm using right now. I have my LED light right here, battery powered. I have another newer LED light, and I have <laughs> the ring light that I'm using right now, which is right in front of me. The shutter speed on this camera is 1 400th of a second to 30 seconds. And by shutter speed, that's how long it takes your shutter to capture the photo. The camera lens's aperture also goes to a max of 3.5 of an f-stop. And by aperture, that's how wide the camera lens can open up to carry in as much light as possible to get that nice picture. Pretty much when you're using a camera for photography or videography, you want to balance the aperture and the ISO together to make it a nice smooth lighting transition. Your shutter speed is fine, but when you're filming, you should always be at 150th. And one of the better features this camera has is built-in Wi-Fi. So whenever you take a picture, you can easily transfer that photo from the camera to your smartphone. This camera also shoots in RAW slash PNG and JPEG. Plus you can shoot in RAW and JPEG together at the same time. The Canon T6 also has 14 different photography modes, one being manual exposure, which adjusts the aperture, shutter, and ISO manually for your own creative freedom. Next is aperture priority, AE, which adjusts the aperture to blurred background so the subject stands out more. Then there's shutter Shutter priority, AE, which adjusts shutter speed to make moving objects look still. Then there's program AE, auto setting of aperture and shutter speed, scene intelligent auto, fully automated shooting mode where the camera sets everything up for you according to your setting. Flash off. This is used when flash photography is prohibited and it's highly recommended you use a tripod slash sticks to capture the image because you're going to be in a dark setting and you might end up getting a blurry image if you're using your camera handheld. Then there's creative automatic an automatic mode for creative blurred backgrounds, built-in flash, and other cool features. Portrait mode, backgrounds are blurred and the subject stands out, smooth skin tone and hair. Landscape, for widespread shots, creating sharper focus. So when you're going to record those establishing shots, those wide range picture shots. Then there's close up for shooting close ups of plants, flowers, or other small subjects. There's sports mode for continuous shooting during photo shoots or special events. There's food for culinary photography, makes the food look fresh and vibrant. And there's night portrait. The use of tripod is highly recommended for this setting. If you're trying to capture a picture handheld, the picture might look kind of blurry because the camera 
can't focus well enough because it's not remaining still. The Canon T6 also has eight different white balance features. Custom, to adjust color using custom white balance data. Flash, for flash photography. White fluorescent light, for indoor scenes under white fluorescent lights. Tungsten, for indoor scenes under tungsten lighting. Cloudy, for cloudy days or at sunset. Shade, for shots in the shade. Daylight, for outdoor scenes under clear skies. Auto ambience priority, for natural colors under specific lighting. So the reason I purchased this camera about three years ago was because when I was getting more involved with YouTube and wanted to start creating more professional quality content, I didn't know too much about DSLR cameras. I didn't know which camera to get. I was asking my friends what kind of cameras they use. And a lot of those cameras were like 600 to $700. I was a college student, barely making enough money to pay rent. So therefore I decided to get the Canon T6, which at the time time was $399 on Amazon, which I'm pretty sure you can find it for the same price now. And I was able to get this really cool bundle of a Canon T6, the 18 by 55 millimeter interchangeable lens. And I also got a tripod along with some lens filters. So it's honestly a really great deal for the price of what you're getting. I've used this camera to record multiple music videos on my YouTube channel. I've also used this Canon's interchangeable lens feature by replacing the lens and putting in my 50 millimeter Canon lens so that I can take better quality images during photo shoots. So again, Again, if you're looking to buy a camera this year in 2020, I would highly suggest the Canon T6 for just starting out with photography and videography. Of course, purchase the camera that you specifically want to use that matches your liking. Everybody has their own preference on which cameras they want to choose. But again, I chose this Canon T6 because I was just learning the camera ball game and how everything works. And again, for $399, this camera is a really good deal. So I hope you learned something from my video and I hope you also know which camera you should buy in 2020. If you like this product review and you're interested in other product reviews I have on this channel, then check out this playlist right here. And if you happen to be interested in the music I make, then check out this video right here. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you find the camera you're looking for and have a happy holiday.